The American Academy of Neurology last year released a statement about alternative therapies, and one of those was medical marijuana. And of the studies that have been done so far, um, there has been some positive evidence in helping with spasticity. Um, there's sort of equivocal evidence in other areas. It also may help with pain, um, but there's also a potential downside of, say, cognition um, becoming worse. And so there's, it's sort of as an alternative therapy right now, which is what it is, um, there's some positive benefit and some evidence of negative benefit, and then some evidence of what's called equivocal evidence, which is sort of in the middle. And what we need to do is be able to study it more to see if it is in fact effective in those areas. So we certainly did um, ask the patients about um, what they think it's helpful for and why they're taking it or why they're using it. And they were actually relatively on track with what they think it would be useful for. So things that it's been used, utilized for in say cancer, which is nausea and pain. They were aware of that being beneficial. Um, spasticity and tremor and anxiety were the things they also thought that it may be um, assistive for. And those were also well in line with the reasons that the participants who were currently using marijuana said they were taking it for. I did see lower percentages saying it would be useful for things like cognition. So from here, we actually hope to continue to investigate these results. Obviously, with 5,600 responses, there's a lot of data there, um, even with the very short survey of 25 questions. Um, we'll be looking to publish the full results later this year. In addition to that, moving forward with NARCOM, since we do have such a rich history of longitudinal information, which is really great, we're about to hit the 20-year mark of follow-up, which is a critical point for a long-term disease like MS, to follow patients for that long. We hope to, in the future, add some of the marijuana questions to our regular update. Um, if we decide not to do that, um, we would hope to then actually do an ancillary longitudinal marijuana survey so that people could um, participate in one form or another. And in that way, which is what's lacking in this survey, we can see if the longitudinal effects are beneficial or if there are any side effects, um, and we would be able to follow those patients for a long time.